Hello and welcome back to another episode of And Injustice for All MMA. My name is David, and this episode is for UFC Fight Night, Blahovich versus Rakic. First things first, no injustices, nobody on this card got robbed. We'll just go straight to the honorable mentions. First honorable mention, Taria versus Candelario. Uh, I had a 30-27 Taria. Pretty simple, 30-27 all the way. Um, The judges had it, Derek clearly had it, 30-26. Ron McCarthy had a 30-27. Adelaide Bird had it 30-27. Uh, honorable mention for Derek Clearly. He gave a 10-8 in the third and final round. Um, in that third and final round. Uh, both had two takedowns. But... But Taria had ground and pound to end the round pretty much. Uh, both had some submission attempts here and there. I'm confused why Taria had a 10-8. It, it, it makes no sense why he got a 10-8 at all, but maybe it was the ground and pound that made the judge think that. Either way, honorable mention there for Derek Clearly, that's most definitely not a 10-8. It's one of those unnecessary 10-8s that just happen once in a while in MMA, so there's that. Um, next honorable mention. Great card, by the way. Wonderful card. Just slight niggles. I was I was thinking there would be more. There, there isn't. Very few. Um, next honorable mention: Ujo versus Lee. Um, this was a uh, I had a twenty nine twenty seven for Ujo. I gave a ten eight in the second for Ujo and a ten nine in the third for Ujo. Um. I'm going to read out what happened in each round. Uh, in the first round, Adouja had two takedowns to Lee's one, but uh, Lee dropped Adouja and outstruck her. So that's why I gave Lee the round. Uh, in round two, in round two, Adouja outstruck Lee and had ground and pound and some submission attempts for about three plus minutes. It was it was a long time that she was. She was delivering ground and pound on uh, on uh, on Lee, which is why I gave out of Ujo a 10-8 for that round. Again, you can kind of argue it's not a 10-8, but I gave her a 10-8, so I, I thought that was uh, enough for a 10-8. Third round, out Ujo had two takedowns. Andre Lee outstruck her. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Out of Ujo, excuse me. Out of Ujo outstruck Lee on the feet and had two takedowns, which is why she had the last round a 10-9. Now, the judges. Um, Derek clearly has a 29-28 for Adoujo. He didn't give a 10-8 in that second. Um, Saul Diamata and Junichiro Camillo reflect my scorecard exact, 29-27. Um, no honorable mention here. I just wanted to highlight one judge not giving a, a 10-8. Again, you didn't, he didn't have to. So, just wanted to highlight that one. Then we go to the one where uh, I guess you can kind of argue for either direction. We have Chikagian versus Hebus. Um, I gave a 10-9 to Hebus in the, in the first and in the third round. So my scorecard is a 29-28 for Hebus. I put a close mark on the third round. I'll explain that in a, se- in, in a second. So very close third round. Split decision. Um, in that <clears throat> In that first round... Um, Chikagian was out striking Hebus on the feet for a little bit until obviously Hebus got the uh, the takedown with ground and pound the strikes on the feet were close but the reason why Hebus got the first round is because she got the takedown a little bit of ground and pound it overwhelmed what happened on the feet she wins the round second round um Hebus got a takedown with little ground and pound, but Chikagian outstruck her on the feet well enough to win that round. And then the third round is the mixy one where, depending on how... Hebus got a takedown. And the strikes were close, which is why I gave her the round. 
But you could argue that he just didn't do anything with the takedown. She had maybe like three shots. She got a takedown, three shots landed, and then coming up, uh, you could argue Chikagian just outstruck her better, even though the strikes were fairly close in that round. So it's one of those where you can't definitively say, hey, this person won, which is why I put a close marker on it. And there's really no robbery here on either part. Um, as for the judges, you had Derek Clearly. He had a 29-28 for Hebus. His scorecard for, reflects mine. You had Saul D'Amato and Junichiro Camillo, uh Both scored, gave a Chikagian a 10-9 in the second and the third round. So there's that. Then next one I will mention, uh, Grant versus Smolka. This one was fairly easy to score. Uh, first round, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had it, it, this fight ended in a KO for Grant, but uh, in the first round, 10-9 for Grant, second, 10-9 for Smolka. Uh, in the first round, Grant outstruck and dropped Smolka, and then in the second, uh, Smolka got a take down, and he outstruck Grant. Uh, strikes were kind of close in that second, but still, he outstruck him enough to win that round. The judges, um, Chris Lee reflects my scorecard. Ron McCarthy reflects my scorecard. And the Adelaide Bird gives the second round to Grant. That's a no-go. So honorable mention there to Adelaide Bird. Um, that's all. Great night of fights. Uh, main event was really entertaining. I, honestly, I, I wish the injury didn't happen that way. I know definitively who would have won. Um, I hope Beyond doesn't get too much shit. Because, you know, if you want to be really keen about it... it Yon throwing the leg kick, thus moving Rakic back, and then fucking up his knee. That's all because of Yon. So, I mean, yes, it's a freak accident, but it's due to him hitting him. You know, it's one of those accidents where it's not one where a dude's just jogging in place and then fucks up his knee. It's it's caused by Yon. So, there's that. Um, that's all I got. Thank you for listening, and God bless.